Hello everyone, welcome into Fatty's Feast where we make the best food you'll ever eat without leaving your backyard. My name is Josh and today we're at the Blackstone Griddle whipping up some delicious mouthwatering LA dogs. Let's get started. Yes, the famous LA dog. If you've never been to LA, you need to go and try these hot dogs. They're very well known for being that late night drunk snack that just fills you up and gets you satisfied for your ride home. The reason we're making these today is I am actually going out to LA in August to visit my family. I'm really excited and I can't wait to try one of these hot dogs. I'll be sure to post a picture when I do. But today we're gonna do my take on them and we're gonna kick them up a little bit more than they really need to be. Now, just as a warning, it's been a few weeks since I filmed a video. I just got back from Nashville. That was really a lot of fun. I had a blast out there. I got to eat my Waffle House. If you haven't seen my Waffle House recreation video, be sure to check that out. I'll put a link here. But I would move down there in a heartbeat. So that might be my new dream is to move down there once I can make enough off YouTube and, uh, you know, make some more barbecue videos and grilling videos. So to support that adventure, please like, subscribe, comment, etc., etc. All right, all zones on a medium. Let's get some oil down right here. First, I'm gonna throw down some green peppers, some onions, and some jalapenos, the staple vegetables of an LA dog. Now this is one onion, one pepper, and probably like three jalapenos. Let's get a nice knob of butter in there. Our pepper and our salt. Now let's give us a mix. Gonna throw a little more oil down, and we'll just spread these out, let them cook down. Then on this area, I'm gonna throw down some bacon. This is the other special ingredient for an LA dog. Now I know I just said bacon's the other staple for an LA dog. That's not the bacon that matters. I'm just fat and wanna cook some bacon for breakfast tomorrow. So that's what I'm doing. Let's get to the real magic that happens with these dogs. So on my shit cutting board right here, I'm gonna put my hot dogs. These are Costco quarter pounders, the best hot dogs you can buy, I think. Nathan's are also a good choice, and the regular Costco hot dogs are very delicious. I just have some bacon here, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap these hot dogs in bacon. And because these are so thick, damn boy, I'm actually gonna try to do two pieces each. So something like that. It's not all covered, but it's good enough. You can definitely get away with one on a smaller hot dog. This is just excessive, because everything I do is excessive. This, this is hot. I just love grabbing hot dogs like that. That's just perfect. This is some thick bacon. Aldi, you're, you're doing something here. I don't get it. That's delicious. This is my reject dog with the uh, awkward piece of bacon. That's terrible. And I'm going to season these up like I do every hot dog. Get some pepper on there and some garlic powder. I just try to coat every, every side of it if I can. And then once that's done, we'll just throw these right here. I did flip these veggies once. Let's give them another flip. They're charring up very nice. We're not really trying to saute them or anything. We're just charring them. And that bacon fat's going right in. My breakfast bacon's pretty good. Just gonna throw it in this corner. And while we're waiting on this, I do wanna give you guys a little bit of news. I may or may not have mentioned it in a previous video, but I am a part of a project, a band, with my two friends, Dan and Eric, called LV3. We actually just released our first EP all together called Timeless. I know a lot of you may not be into music because you're into cooking and you want to see me cook. But if you want to check out what we do as a band, I would really appreciate it. I'll put a link to our channel right here. And you can stream us on all platforms, Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud, whatever. Our band is mostly a mix of progressive and classical and R&B. So a very unique sound, but people didn't get anywhere by being normal. So. If you wanna check it out, feel free. I'd really appreciate it. We'd all really appreciate it. But the reason I'm really telling you this is because the next few months for me are going to be very hectic with this project. And I'm gonna be focusing a lot of efforts on that channel and making music for the band. So if I maybe skip a week or two of videos, I'm sorry, I don't want to, but I only have so much time. So I hope you'll forgive me for that and you won't decide to leave me forever. Let's get back to cooking. Let's take a look at our dogs. Oh yes. I'm just gonna give these a little quarter turn. It's a slow process because we got to cook this bacon down. But as the cooking process continues, the bacon will continue to stick. You can see we got a nice char going on right there. That's what we're looking for. Let's move these over here right next to our dogs. Right here, I'm going to throw down two buns to soak in that grease. We'll get these nice and toasted up. Just continually turning these. 
edges are perfect. I'm just continually rotating them so they don't burn too much. Buns are looking perfect. And I'm gonna move this stuff over here because I realize the sun is not cooperating with us. But these dogs, if you couldn't see before, are looking really good. It's got one more side to really sear up. You know me, I'm gonna try to sear the shit out of these because I love my bacon crispy. Look at these, just soaked in grease, love it. So I did take my Thermapen out just to get an internal temp. We don't really need to worry. I mean, these are fully cooked already. So I just wanna make sure they're warm in the middle, which they are way warm, actually. So let's go over here and assemble them. Lovely buns right here. And you don't need to do condiments, but I'm gonna do some mustard, some ketchup. I know, debatable. Throw down a helping of veggies. Try to make it even, I don't know what's in which. And then this is the perfect dog, I think. For a close second, right over here. Let's throw this on here. Gonna be a mess, as always. And this on here. And here we are with our finished LA dogs. Let's give them a try. I'm gonna put these down because this is gonna be a freaking mess. I already know it. So excited. Okay, are the quarter pounder hot dogs excessive? Absolutely. Am I drunk yet? No, I'm gonna get there though. I might have the other two later. I don't know. Is it a mess? Absolutely, I should have bought bigger buns. But, they're so good. The juiciness, I, I think the uh, bacon adds another characteristic of juiciness. Like all that fat just like renders into the hot dog and that just blows up in your mouth. That's what she said. But it's amazing. There's an explosion. Mm. I'm going to feel like absolute death after this meal. But hey, if we don't feel like death after eating, what's the point? If you don't want to pass away, you're just not doing it right and you're eating too healthy. Coming from the diabetic, yeah. So anyway, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this episode of Fatty's Feast. If you found value in today's video and you liked what you saw, please smash that like button. It's free. It gets my content out to more people. If you want to see some more recipes, if you have some ideas, maybe something I haven't done yet, leave me a comment. I want to get to those as soon as I can. If you've ever been to LA and had an LA dog, let me know what you think. I think they're just, they're amazing. And I look forward to going out there and having one for real from a street vendor. If you want to see another video of me cooking on the Blackstone Griddle, I'm going to put a video right, right here. And then over here, there will be a playlist of some more griddle videos. If you want to just sit back and relax for a few hours and watch those. Right here, you can subscribe to my channel. And then somewhere on the screen, maybe right here, I'll put the link to our band channel, LV3. Please check that out if you're interested in music and want to see my other passion, which is drumming. Until next time, everyone, I love you. Stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy, and stay tummy.